The Yampa Valley is a hotspot for a variety of birds, some common, some rare. The tree swallow is one of the most common birds in the Yampa Valley. They are one of the first migrants to arrive and are often seen in flocks, ranging from a few individuals all the way to hundreds. They nest in birdhouses, but are more commonly seen nesting in abandoned woodpecker cavities. Like other swallows, they forage in flight. On days with bad weather, they tend to fly just above the surface of bodies of water and catch hatching midges, sometimes skimming the water to pick up emergers. This is a small bird in the group of flycatchers in Pitinax. To the untrained eye, in Pitinax flycatchers may all look the same. They are all small, olive brown birds with erratic flight patterns. But this one is a Cordilleran flycatcher, distinguished by its yellow olive color and by its range and call. The Cordilleran flycatcher lives throughout much of central U.S., mainly along streams and rivers running through forests. The Yampa Valley is a great place for these flycatchers to live and nest. Although these flycatchers are common here, they can be quite hard to locate. The best way to find them is to walk along streams and listen for their two-note call. The red-winged blackbird is common throughout marshes in the Yampa Valley and may be best known for its loud vocalizations. The red-winged blackbird, just like it sounds, is a medium-sized blackbird with red and yellow shoulder patches. Most red wings in the lower 48 do not migrate, or migrate short distances to lower elevations and places with milder winters. The male red-winged blackbirds that do not migrate leave earlier than the females to establish their territory and to prepare for the mating season. Males and females make the distinctive call that can be heard year-round throughout the cattail marshes. This is one of the best-known raptors in the Yampa Valley, the osprey. Many people know them because of the poles with nests that can be seen throughout the valley. People love these poles because they allow them to get close enough to observe the nesting osprey without disturbing them. Osprey are specialized fish hunters. They have adapted over millions of years to be able to see through the glare on the surface of water to locate fish. In addition to specialized eyesight, they have long talons to get good grip on the fish and long, sharp beaks to tear the flesh off its prey. This male osprey has just caught a rainbow trout and is feasting on its harvest before returning to its nest to feed the incubating female. Osprey are one of the most widespread birds in the world. They can be seen on every continent except for Antarctica. With its brilliantly colored feathers and flute-like whistled song, the Bullock's Oriole is a favorite of many. These birds love jelly, fruit, and nectar feeders, allowing people to get a closer look when they visit their feeders. Their nests are drooping pouches made out of plant fibers, yarn, grass, string, or other grass-like substances. This individual is a male. The females are much duller, an overall gray color with a yellowish head and tail. These birds migrate from western Mexico to as far north as southern Canada and back all in one year. An elusive but quite common bird of the Yampa Valley, the Great Horned Owl, is not often seen by many because it is active mainly during night, dusk, and dawn. Also, the Great Horned Owl can be difficult to find and observe due to its amazing camouflage that helps it blend right into its habitat. Although they may not be seen very often, they are still a common bird here. These owls range throughout almost all of North and Central America, and are very adaptable to the habitat they live in. They can take out mammals larger than themselves, but will also prey on smaller mice and scorpions, depending on where they live. This bird is one specialized for forests, and behaves very differently than most birds. The red-breasted nuthatch is what is known as a tree-clinging bird. Along with woodpeckers and a few others, this group of birds perches vertically and climbs up and down trees, searching for small insects and spiders. Nuthatches predominantly face downwards on trees, unlike woodpeckers. Their feeding behavior consists of climbing down a tree, flying to the top of the next, and climbing down that one. Nuthatches are common throughout forests in the United States, and their nasal calls can be heard echoing throughout the trees in the Yampa Valley. A familiar sound of spring to most, the flute-like song of the western meadowlark is unmistakable. The western meadowlark looks identical to the eastern meadowlark, and it is impossible to differentiate the two by sight alone. The only way to tell the two apart is by song. The western has a flute-like gurgling song, whereas the eastern has a series of simple, plain whistles. This bird is one of the most commonly known and seen birds throughout the spring, summer, and fall here, but is often mistaken as another bird. The broad-tailed hummingbird is a bird loved by residents of the valley. When many people see this bird, they think it is the better-known ruby-throated hummingbird, which is understandable because they look almost identical. What they don't realize is that the ruby-throated hummingbird is an eastern species that does not regularly enter Colorado. 
The broad-tailed hummingbird migrates to the Yampa Valley to nest each year and can be easily attracted to hummingbird feeders and flowers. If you are in the Yampa Valley during the spring, summer, or fall, the broad-tailed hummingbird is a hard one to miss.